Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Swanky Cat Productions channel. My name is Ben. This is my 2021 Tenere 700 and today what we're going to do is really going to upset all of the certified keyboard mechanics out there. So Yamaha put hours and hours and hours of engineering and design time into this wonderful piece of modern engineering here uh, that is the Tenere stock exhaust pipe. And basically what we're gonna try to do here is make this thing loud enough that it will pretty much close down any trail that we ride on. Uh, we're also kind of trying to get as close to zero back pressure as possible. Basically what we're gonna do is remove this cap and uh, kind of see what we can find in there to uh, just basically uh, tear out and uh, cut up. And um, once uh, once we get that done, we will uh, we'll do a sound clip and kind of show you exactly how ridiculously loud this is going to be um, and how poorly the bike runs um, once once this is complete. So uh, before we do all that, uh, just one last time uh, so the bike can can run good and uh, and just be happy for, for one last time, we're going to fire this up and uh, it, it'll also kind of give you guys an idea of how beautiful and quiet this pipe is uh, just in its sock form before I completely wreck it. So to be honest, uh, this stock exhaust actually really sounds pretty darn good. Uh, this motor is just a, a great sounding motor in general. I absolutely love everything about this motor. Um, however, this pipe is way too quiet for me anyway. Now I've done a lot of joking about everything in this video, but uh, to be honest, I do not like a pipe that is too loud. Um, I don't want to annoy anybody. Uh, I don't want to scare the wildlife away. I enjoy see seeing wildlife. Uh, but I also like to be able to hear the revs of the bike when I'm riding it and I can pretty much hear this pipe through first gear uh, as soon as I get into second I pretty much can't hear anything at all so I want to just kind of see what I can get out of this stock pipe the best thing you can really do with this stock exhaust pipe is remove it and actually probably cut this uh, this bracket off and uh, get a, a high mount exhaust kit I'm sure there are some motorcycles out there that have had hours and hours of engineering and design time put into their exhaust systems the Tenere at, at the price point that it's at probably didn't see a whole lot of uh, R&D or design time uh, put into to the muffler. Uh, most bikes in this price range, um, probably most bikes in general to be honest, uh, the muffler is not necessarily an afterthought. Um, I, I mean, I'm sure they're not absolutely horrible, but they're heavy. Uh, they're definitely not made with performance in mind. They're designed more to be economical and just something that can be thrown on the bike. Most people that are serious about performance are gonna replace the pipe. And there's people like me that are really only interested in the sound aspect of it and aren't all that concerned with performance. We'll see what we can get out of this pipe here today and uh, you can kind of make your decision after that. So the first thing we're gonna do is just remove these four Allen bolts that are holding the tip cover on. So then with that removed, you can kind of see the business end of the muffler here. So this is actually a spark arrestor kind of slash tip that gets bolted on to the end of the can here. So the next thing we're gonna have to do is just remove these four bolts and then this will pull out. Those fasteners out of the way, and this will come out. So if you guys are not familiar, this is what a spark arrestor is. Basically, it's just kind of a fine mesh that will let the air flow through and have the uh, exhaust gases escape out this end, but not let any sparks or uh, any flame that comes from the engine come shooting directly out of the tip. Uh, they just kind of get stopped by this mesh. So there we go. So this is basically just kind of an empty chamber and then you can kind of see the actual muffling part of the muffler 
is going to be inside of there and on the other side. And, and basically all a muffler does is just kind of lets the air flow through a couple chambers that kind of quiets it down and uh, also slows it down. So I would strongly encourage you guys to put back the spark arrestor portion of this. I would not ride this bike anywhere off-road at all without one of these. Uh, it's definitely illegal. It's definitely dangerous. So the plan is going to be to basically kind of make a cut on the inside of here so I can remove this pipe that you can kind of see through the mesh here. In order to accomplish that, I'm going to have to kind of make a, a, a precise cut on the inside of here, and you can kind of change that diameter uh, if you want, kind of up to a point. Uh, I'm going to try to go kind of as big as I can, and then we'll kind of see what that sounds like. Uh, the best thing to do would probably be to replace this with some sort of larger pipe uh, that will protrude from the exhaust tip. Obviously, you can only go so big. Obviously, it's also a rectangle, not, not a circle, so we'll have to do a little bit of squishing if we wanna fit a round pipe in there. Uh, but that would be kind of the ideal situation. I think for today, I'm just gonna try to remove this and uh, basically just see what it sounds like as is. All right, so here's what I've got going on so far. Quite the ugly mess. Make sure you have a good way of holding this when you're doing this. Uh, my drill bit grabbed a couple times and admittedly I, I probably should have used a smaller drill bit. But uh, a couple times I grabbed and tossed this thing around a bit. But uh, she's all still intact. So now I'm going to try to go back in with the Dremel and see if maybe I can't clip some of these off. <laughs> Is what we're looking for. I would not suggest touching any of this until you get that cleaned up a bit. That is going to be not only a mess, but also probably pretty hot. So basically what I'm going to do is kind of try and clean up these edges a little bit in here. All right, well I've had about enough of that. That's uh, definitely not pretty, but I think probably round enough that the right size pipe would uh, would still fit kind of in there and I, I could weld it around the perimeter to seal everything off if I really wanted to. Uh, obviously I've got a bit of junk in there including that last uh, Dremel bit that I was using. So I'm gonna dump all this out, uh, maybe blow this thing out just to make sure there's no particles in here. Obviously anything that is in here should just get blown right off the back of the, the bike but uh, just to be absolutely safe I don't really like any metal shavings anywhere near the, the inside or, or really the outside of my motorcycle. So I'll clip this cleaned out. Kind of looking at this and I don't really see an up and down. Uh, I don't think it matters which way we put it back in, I guess. We'll put our beauty cap on there. Line that all up. Put these back in. You definitely don't want to overdo these because these are in nut certs. All right, so the moment we've all been waiting for, myself included, let's see exactly what my hack job got us here as far as sound. Now, how many of you think I'm gonna have some sort of back pressure error code on the dash? Kinda doubt it.
All right, guys, so as much as I would like to take this out on the road, it is actively snowing right now, and there is salt and ice all over the place. So we're going to have to stick to, to just my short little trails that I've got in my yard here. But I think this will probably give uh, you and me both a, a good idea of just how loud this bike is really going to be. And uh, it, is, it, it is a tad loud. <laughs> Like I said, when we were in the shop there, I, I think running it like this is probably not something I would recommend doing. Uh, I think adding a, a pipe in there would definitely kind of quiet things down and make it a little bit more reasonable. Uh, however, I have to say, I definitely like the sound that's coming out of it. It sounds a, a heck of a lot more like what I wanted than that stock pipe. Like is a little bit big for my woods. It handles it pretty darn well though, I gotta say. I think I'm actually more comfortable on this in my woods than I was on the KLR to be honest, which really kind of confuses me. I'm not sure exactly why that is. Probably because this thing is a off-road monster, that's why. Oh, well, those crash bars out right away. Ow. My boot's stuck under the seat. Well, first time for everything, huh? There we go. Oh, I can't see. Uh-oh. I grabbed the tree with the plate, apparently. Nothing left of that tree. Okay. Boy, I wish I could show you how well the crash bars are working. And there you get a little bit of an idea. Fell over right in the muffler. That's good. That's what you want. Ugh. Ugh. Well, not too much worse than the KLR. Actually, maybe even a little bit easier. Okay. So, hopefully we didn't wreck any of the plastics with my boot there. Kind of got caught. Oh, I guess we'll figure that out later. Exhaust pipe still attached. Possibly bent in a hair. <laughs> I can think I'm planning on getting that kit. Uh, okay. I suppose she's not going to be happy being outside for that long. There we go. And we're off. I actually talked to woo, somebody I think in the in the comment section that said that their uh, bike tipped over on their pipe and the pipe got pushed in and actually uh, burnt a hole in their exhaust or in their exhaust burned a hole in their little preoccupied sorry burnt a hole in their rear brake line which is like super scary especially if you're going to be counting on that rear brake most of the time your front should do most of the work anyway but still Burn through brake line, not a cool thing. Look at that beautiful sunset. So I think it's like maybe 35 degrees uh, and I'm, I'm jumping all over the place in this video, I know that, but I really wanted to get out and test this on the road. I didn't want to just do the, the yard test and then be done with it. So I'm sure this video is kind of, uh, kind of gonna be choppily put together and I apologize for that, but look how beautiful it is out here. I had to get out and ride. Uh, I have to say that this definitely still sounds cool. But there's also uh, there's some RPMs like three grand, I think. And maybe it's three, maybe it's not. I don't know where it is. Uh, there's been a, a couple RPMs that I've kind of been sitting at just at cruising speed. And uh, you kind of get a bit of a drone going that uh, is not something that 
I would want to listen to for any long period of time and I'm actually currently wearing earplugs so without that I think that would be a little ridiculous so uh, as cool as this sounds uh, just driving around in the woods uh, I would probably not recommend it both uh, both so you don't get any uh, trails closed down and also so you don't drive yourself nuts um, I mean to be honest I don't think this is any louder than any of the Harleys that run around here but uh, definitely not not something that I want to listen to uh, all the time. So like I said, I mean, obviously this wasn't really a long-term solution for me. If you're going to do this, I think if you put like a, a one-inch pipe in there, maybe a little bit bigger, I think that would be just fine. Look at that. You can only get that in the winter. I'm going to have to take a picture, I think. I suppose I can pull off to the side a little bit. Not be a total dink. Fall down in the ditch and never come back out. Boy, that is a good looking machine. Sounds cool here, but I don't know. Something about moving. It's not good. All right, so I took the earplugs out, and now I actually think that uh, this seems quieter, uh, it, which uh, sounds sort of backwards, but I guess kind of makes sense because when you've got earplugs in, you can actually hear what's going on around you better and you, you don't get all the wind noise and that's that all gets cut out so i guess that's a good argument for for wearing earplugs on your ride but uh the drone is also gone so i don't know what the deal with that is uh, i don't know if the, the temperature dropped or the bike remapped itself since it's 40 degrees colder than the last time i rode it or what the deal is but it uh it definitely seems quieter now and uh definitely not anything uh ridiculous i, I think it actually really sounds uh, pretty good but I think I would probably still recommend uh, at least planning on putting some sort of smaller diameter pipe in there uh, just, to, just to be able to uh, maybe tone it down just a tad. Uh, I also, it, it's been a while since I've been on the bike and I know there's plenty of people that are gonna say that I lost all my back pressure and uh, th that's why I'm feeling this way. Uh, and maybe that is the case, I, I guess I don't know. But it does almost seem like maybe this thing doesn't quite have as much power as the last time I rode it. But I don't know. It's dark. It's uh, it's been like a month since I've been on the bike on the road, and uh, maybe I'm maybe I'm just misremembering or uh, misinterpreting due to the, the darkness and the, the wonderful sunset that I've got going here. So uh, let's let's take the bike back home, and uh, we'll get it under the light and see exactly what happened when I <laughs> tipped it over. I take the long way home. Do do do. I take the long way home. Wife's not gonna be happy, do do do. Told her I was coming home right after the gas station, do do do, and I didn't. Do do do. Sorry, honey badger. Well, everybody's at, been asking about the, the little guy and honey badger. They're both doing great. They're having a great time being a little family. Oh, look at that sunset, boys. Look at that. And a good short year on the Tenere. Having lots of fun. So like I had said, my boot kind of got caught sort of here and then here, uh, just like the, the top back portion of it. And I think basically that's just because I didn't jump off the bike fast enough. I kind of tried to hold it up and keep it from going over. Uh, the, the license plate got the worst of it. That, uh, that'll need to get spun around. I'm actually kind of glad I didn't have the full bracket on there uh, that comes with the tail tidy kit because uh, I think if I did it probably would have at least bent up the, uh, the tail tidy kit so this way the, the plate just got the worst of it. That tree was uh, not, a, not a good spot otherwise uh, the rest of the bike really looks like nothing happened pretty much. Um, the Crash Bros did their job. I don't think anything got goofed up with my boot being stuck under here. That definitely wasn't great but it seems like the bike didn't care much. Uh, I almost think that my pipe is maybe tweaked a little bit. I 
you know, hard to say, but uh, definitely something I expected, which is why I've been looking into the reroute kit for the for the pipe. So other than the fact that it's still in the same old dumb location, uh, I'm really pretty happy with that modification. That uh, actually sounds really, really, really very nice. I'm really happy with uh, with how it turned out. Um, Still thinking maybe it'd be a good idea to have a, a pipe in there, but honestly, I think you could probably let it let it rip just how it is. Uh, I don't really think it's all that bad. I think it, at first it was a, a bit of a shock, and a lot of times I ride with earplugs in, so I think that kind of threw me off a bit, but I really don't think it's that bad at all. I mean, I guess if you guys are interested, you can, you can do it for yourself, try it out, and uh, if you want to put that pipe in there to kind of quiet it down, I think that would help. So uh, I guess that's probably about all I've got for you. Uh, if you guys have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Otherwise, uh, take care, stay safe, stay swanky. If you can get out and ride, make sure you do that. If you can't, then uh, well, check out some of these videos. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Put a video out at least once a week. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, stay safe, and stay swanky. I think I said that already. That's okay. Do it. Click the video. Hit subscribe. If you're still here, you really should. Wish I had some better lighting down here. <laughs>